walking very fast. Today I am going to do an orthobiologic treatment to a 70 year old zoology professor. He complains of pain in both knees. He is sitting behind me and let's talk to him now. Vanakkam, every day. 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 My name is Saur Bhakta Vachala. My uh. age is 67. 67? 67. Right. Okay. I got the pain from the right knee due to the uh, fall on the... Fall? Small due to an injury? Due to injury. When was that? Uh, two years back. Doctor. Two years back. Yes. Okay. Then I get the treatment so many hospital, uh. but it's not cure. Uh. Say so I heard about, about you, doctor, through the TV and uh, some other doctors referred to me. Uh. Then only I came to you, the doctor. Okay. Now I'm having the hope. You are doing what are you going to undergo today? And today you are going to be the stem cell therapy, doctor. Mm. I hope that doctor. Okay. We'll see you later. So Thank this you. is your knee and we are going to do it on that. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Wrong guy. In the leg operate right, uh, right knee. Right knee. Like swelling is I'm on that swelling is mm. I got the pain. Uh -huh. Injury, 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 injury. Ah. Okay. Upon the doctor on the doctor, you don't know what you can do. You don't know what you can do. If you look at the PRP, you X-ray. I look at the double set. I look at the X-ray. Okay. So, these are the X-rays of the patient. There is an irregularity in the lower end of the femoral condyle, medial femoral condyle. This is due to an old injury and it was an osteochondral injury way back. That has led to grade 4 osteoarthritic change in the lower end of the medial femoral condyle. And MRI has shown that there is also grade 4 change in the lower end of the medial femoral tibial condyle. There is narrowing of the lateral compartment as well. And MRI has shown grade uh, osteoarthritic changes in the patellar facet as well. This is the left knee you can see that there is spiking, intercondylar spiking, medial and lateral. There is some joint space narrowing. So I will be injecting PRP, platelet rich plasma into the left knee and I will be injecting stromal vascular fraction. Morning, morning, uh, consent. Thank you, Dad. SPO to 99. Pulse rate is 62. Local anesthesia, no general anesthesia. Now we are going to see the patient walk after his surgery. You are walking very fast. Super, fantastic. Oh, you are going to run. <laughs> oh. How much time after treatment? Uh, Around two, 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 uh, ten, one and a half hours after the treatment. Okay. Uh, uh, after after two years back, uh, I got me happiness, freedom, and everything. Freedom of movement. Movements. Very good. Thank you, Dad. Super. Um, How was you your experience after the procedure? Fine, doctor. Uh, so Super. you were very afraid. You wanted to have uh, anesthesia, spinal anesthesia, and all that. Yes, yes doctor. Uh, so could you could you bear the pain? Yes, yes, I can bear it. Huh? I, 
So I, I actually I took fat from your thigh, 30 yes. ml, yes, and made it. So initially there was some pain when I was introducing the needle. That is the normal one, doctor, due to the procedure of the surgery. Ah. Uh, that is the normal pain. So that is acceptable. That, that I acceptable that I can tolerate it. Okay, good. Yeah. And then when I put the needle into the bone for injecting in the, yes, into the thigh, thigh that bone. That is a small pain, doctor. That's all. That's also normal one, doctor. Normal. Okay. There is no heavy pain, no surgery, no operator, no knee for it. Even so, single blood is said no loss. Of it. So no blood loss, uh, no cutting, no, le- cutting, no, no le- stitching, no cutting, no stitching, no, nothing. Yes, no. So no, that is what is involved in knee replacement. Yes, yes, yes. All fine. Fine. Sorry, happy now. Now I'm happy.